Welcome back, you guys. Today, we are talking about business formation on social media. So we talked about business entity formation the last time in the training. And, you know, even though you have your business formed, okay, and legalized now, you need to go ahead and start forming your business on social media. Why? Because this develops your brand, okay? We talked about branding and how, you know, your colors and everything needs to be cohesive across all platforms and things like that. It does not mean that you have to go ahead and take on the responsibility of having every single platform, every social media platform, but you want to go ahead and create those platforms, okay? You want to go ahead and create your Facebook business page. You might want to go ahead and create a Facebook group. They don't have to be named the same, um, but you can go ahead and create those things um, and then go ahead and create your Instagram account, your YouTube channel, your um, Pinterest account, um, let's see, LinkedIn, all with your business name, okay? And what that's gonna do is it's just going to be a placeholder for when you're ready, okay? Again, I don't, it's not wise for you to go out there and try to go ahead and start um, marketing on all of these platforms. Don't do that, you guys. Pick one, pick one platform. Go ahead and register your name on all the platforms so nobody can take it, okay? And figure out if, if you know it's even available and what you're going to use as your name on those platforms, okay? And then make sure you have that, okay? And then pick one platform for your marketing to start out on, okay? Don't try to use every single platform there is as soon as you get started. The goal here is just to form those accounts across all the social media platforms that you think that you might possibly use in the future, okay? A lot of these, you're going to wait until you have a team of people to help you. You have a social media manager or somebody like that to help you with all that work, okay? Right now, with you being a solopreneur, what you want is you just want to claim your spot on all all those like it's like in the old timey days when people had to go put a stake in the ground and claim their land right and they had to to be there for a while on it so that it was theirs right same thing go form your accounts on those social media accounts but you don't have to do anything with them right now i had my instagram a whole year before i ever started using it okay same thing with you know linkedin and stuff like that i still have a linkedin account and i'm not using it okay but just go ahead and form those accounts so that you have them. And later on, we'll talk about the mar different types of marketing and help you to figure out which one is going to be best for you because you're building an online business and you want to utilize social media to be the tools to help your business to grow, even though you're going to lead them to other areas and your whole business structure isn't going to be based just on one platform, okay? So I hope that makes sense. But for right now, what you want to do is you want to go on on Facebook and create your business page and your group. Um, they're in, in, the, in the trainings below, in the bonus tech trainings of each different platform, there are videos on how to create that stuff. Most of it's self-explanatory, or you can even Google it and say, how do you create an account on Instagram or whatever? And it will, it'll walk you through the steps of how to do that. Um, but there should be, I should have um, in all the ones below, there should be a, a getting started and setting up your account tutorial so that you can walk through and create those for yourself and try to use the same name, like your business name or your personal brand, um, whichever you want to want to go with and try to use that across every platform and have the, you know, where it's like facebook.com slash, and then you put that, that unique, um, URL in there, try to use that same unique URL across all the platforms so that your brand already starts to be cohesive across all the platforms. Okay. But that's all you need to know for right now. Get all of that set up. Um, and then, Go ahead and start thinking about which platform you like the best and are most comfortable with, and that's where you want to start. I don't typically tell my people to start where their clients are just for the simple fact that it's easiest for you to get started where you're the most comfortable, especially with it just being you running your business, okay? Me and my husband both have built our businesses off of Facebook. That's where I'm most comfortable, and everybody says, Danielle, why don't you go over to this platform? And I'm like, I just don't 
I don't have any interest in learning that platform right now. Facebook is doing me just fine. Facebook is not dead. Like there, there, it, I use organic marketing. I don't even use ads. And so, you know, Facebook is definitely not dead if you know how to use it correctly. And that's the thing I want to teach you guys is use the platform you're the most comfortable with, you're the most knowledgeable on, learn it to the extent of what you can learn it, and then move on to another one or hire in somebody else to, to, um, manage those other ones for you okay and so that's what we'll be teaching you here but right now just get get your social media accounts formed with your business name or your personal brand um, and and try to make it cohesive across all of those so that way your brand starts to form all right you guys all right i'll talk to you in the next training